Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying, we have the All Dressed Pringles, the Carnitas Taco Pringles. And I have the limited edition mini Doritos in the Jumpin' Jack Cheese. So the review of the regular size Jumping Jack cheese is on the channel, but we had never tried the mini before. Uh, so they were $3.39 for this can at Kroger. The Pringles, the uh, Carnitas was $2.93 at Target. And the All Dress was only $2 at Walmart. So it's amazing. You're paying 93 more cents if you insist on buying them at Target. Uh, or three thirty nine. dollars I mean, gosh, that's a dollar. Well, I wonder if it's because they're mini Doritos. I, not sure. That's true. That's true. Yeah. They're different than the Pringles. So, okay. Yeah, we can't compare that. Yeah, remember when Pringles were a dollar twenty five a can? Yeah. Not that long ago. It wasn't that long ago, really. Um, so, I mean, you could probably go back to the oldest Pringles video. That would be interesting to go back to the oldest Pringles video the on, first one, on this seven, channel. Seven. See how much they cost. Yeah. Because I'm assuming I was given prices back then. Um, so this is the all dressed with tomato, onion, and vinegar flavors. Hmm. And it says nothing half full about this can. So they're letting you know it's, it's, they have filled it up. Um, these are manufactured in Jackson, Tennessee. Six servings in the container, one ounce, 28 grams, about 14 crisps are 150 calories. This right. is a factory I would like to see. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, like how it's made? Like you know they're molded and then yeah. they're dried. It just makes you wonder how they're, what how it looks they do like. It. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if you could take a tour. No, no. They may have done a How It's Made video on it. What else did they have? Tomato. Tomato, onion, and vinegar. I get the vinegar. And I get some of the onion. A but I bit. really don't get much of the tomato, yeah. like the, the ketchup part. Even the, even the onion part's pretty light. It's mostly just vinegar, but it's not one of those really strong, like overpowering vinegars. It's a really light vinegar. You know what's missing is salt. It reminds me, they're saying onion, but I get a little bit of a, not pure garlic, not 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 like that. I wouldn't want you to think like it's garlic bread or anything like that, but it has between the the onion powder and the garlic, and the, I mean in the vinegar when they combine, it kind of gives you like a hint of what could be garlic, but really I get the onion and the vinegar. Yeah, it's all vinegar for me. Mm -hmm. And no salt. No tomato. I'm not no getting. Tomato, a, I'm no not salt. getting enough of the tomato. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any tomato. <laughs> I like these. I, I do like, like them. I do think they're good. But you really like vinegar chips. But I like vinegar chips. I think I would rather buy vinegar, salt and vinegar, Pringles than this. Um, I would have to try them side by side to see which one I like best because I really do like the vinegar in those. Mm -hmm. I like the onion and I like the vinegar. Okay, this is a carnitas taco. 150 calories for about 14. And that one had a description. This one does not have a description. But it's showing lime. Showing lime. Taco. And maybe Cilantro. some onion. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That has that, meat. that fake meat flavor. It's meat. That fake beef flavor. Kind of like a bouillon cube. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Uh, it's missing all the stuff that's showing them. Um, I, yeah, it, it's and, showing lime, and I'm not getting any lime. Um, like you would think, a chili powder or something for the taco part? Mm -hmm. To me, it just tastes like, I, I love how you said a bouillon cube. Yeah. Because that's what it tastes like, is a bouillon cube. Yeah. A beef, beef bouillon. Yeah. Um, and I do not care for that. I no, mean, it's okay. I mean, I could eat them, but it's why would I eat those when there's other ones I'd rather eat? One was enough. <laughs> yeah. So out of the two, you're picking the all dressed. Yeah, but I do like vinegar chip, so. Yeah, you need to like vinegar chip, but I don't think it's too strong. It's not a strong vinegar. Okay, now these are the, the baby yes, limited edition Doritos Minis Jumpin' Jack Cheese. Five servings are in the can, about 39 ch chips, which is really good. It's 150 calories. 39 chips. Wow. Chips. Yeah. Oh, chips. There's a lot it. of ch chips. 
Just like all little chimps in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're just, they look like a bag of broken Doritos. <laughs> Those are so good. Yeah. I like the cheese flavor. It's nice. And it's got a nice little spice to it too. Mm -hmm. I wondered though, why you would prefer the minis over just regular sized Doritos. Um, because, <clears throat> because to me, Doritos are just a little bit too big. I think the wild- Well, I that bright biting them and breaking them half anyway. I know, so I wish they were half the size they were. Yeah. Honestly, to fit well into your mouth, the wide part of a Dorito is about this wide. Mm -hmm. And- I just stick it in and kind of work it in there. <laughs> yeah, you either have to do that or you have to bite it in half yeah. because it's just a little bit, and, and trust me, I've got a big mouth. I can eat some big old potato chips, but the Dorito, it's just where it's, it's more rigid than a p yeah. potato chip. The edges it, of the triangle are definitely It's wild. really crispy and snappy. I think these are a little softer. Um, I love this flavor. I think it's awesome. You get just the slightest bit of tingle from it. Yeah. I mean, just a hint a of a, a tingle. It's mostly a cheesy flavor. Uh -huh. And it's not the nacho cheese flavor like the original. It is a different kind of cheese. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little bit of a, like a, almost a chili powder flavor, but not quite. Cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, uh, Swiss cheese. Mm. I like them. The cheese really does come through. I would tend to eat a lot more of these though. Garlic powder, uh, jalapeno peppers. That must be where that little bit of a tangle, but, I, but, it, but it's not hot. Yeah, it doesn't taste green. You don't get that jalapeno green flavor, but you do get a little bit of the tangle. Um, Pretty full cam. I think those are delicious. I would buy those all the time. I don't know why they're limited edition, mm -hmm. and that's definitely my favorite thing here. Oh yeah, mine too. Um, but I'm not, I'm not a huge Pringles person either. Yeah, that's true. The uh, it's funny there's five servings in there because I would literally eat half that can. Oh yeah, you could easily <laughs> eat half the can. And what I did, my last bite I took, I put three together I, and I'm, ate them all at the same time. I've gotten a couple. Yeah. It's, yeah. These are a little bit like regular Doritos are, are really crunchy. Mm -hmm. These are just a little bit softer. They might be just a little just, softer. Just a little bit. Uh, but I do they're think they're still very crunchy. Though. They're a lot easier to eat, but I do think you will eat more. Because they're I smaller. Would. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this would be two servings. This would not be five servings. Right. This would be two. You would then eat again, I get a bag of Doritos and half the bag too. So. Yeah, you eat half of it one at one sitting and the other half of it. I have to pour side. them out into like a napkin or something to make sure I don't eat too much of them. Yeah, and then, <laughs> yeah, leave the rest of them. Then leave the rest in the other room. If you can get these though, and you don't mind just a little bit of that tingle, I think you'll love the cheese in these. These should be out all the time. Yeah. Yeah, these, these, are, these are really great And burritos. the smell from these is funky. Like these, I'm smelling them. yeah, I smell it too. Like this would be like if for Doritos, this would be towards like the very, yes. I do still love Cool Ranch. because Cool like, Ranch is probably one of my favorites because you get the little sharpness. They put them. a ton of spice on there and I love that. So I still do love Cool Ranch, but this would be right there. Yeah, I agree. So I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.